Welcome, and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 23rd of January, 2024. The Bible reading today is Micah chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and peoples will stream to it. Many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between many peoples and will settle disputes for strong nations far and wide. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war any more. Everyone will sit under their own vine and under their own fig tree, and no one will make them afraid, for the Lord Almighty has spoken. All the nations may walk in the name of their gods, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God for ever and ever. Today's article, titled Scraps to Beauty, was written by Wynne Collier. My wife, Miska, has a necklace and hoop earrings from Ethiopia. Their elegant simplicity reveals genuine artistry. What's most astounding about these pieces, however, is their story. Due to decades of fierce conflict and a civil war that rages on, Ethiopia's geography is littered with spent artillery shells and cartridges. As an act of hope, Ethiopians scour the torched earth, cleaning up the scraps. Then, artisans craft jewellery out of what remains of the shells and cartridges. When I heard this story, I heard echoes of Micah boldly declaring God's promise. One day, the prophet announced, the people would beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Tools meant to kill and maim would, because of God's powerful action, be transformed into tools meant to nurture life. In God's coming day, the prophet insisted, nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war any more. Micah's pronouncement was no harder to imagine in his day than ours. Like Israel of old, we face violence and war, and it seems impossible that the world could ever change. But God promises us that by his mercy and healing, this astounding day is coming. The thing for us, then, is to begin to live this truth now. God helps us to take on his work even now, turning scraps into beautiful things. Let's pray. Dear God, please change our world. Work through me to bring beauty here. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name's Mike, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.